What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I want to show you Update 3.0. Yes, I am playing Update 3.0 and I actually have been for some time. Funcom included me in their NDA beta test or alpha test, however you want to look at it. I've been testing Update 3.0 for a while now. And I've got to tell you, I am really stoked for you guys to finally get your hands on update 3.0. Now, obviously, it's just in Test Live now, and this is where the real work will start for Funcom because having so many people's hands on it and so many different systems running it, it's going to give them a good opportunity to see all the different issues that may be apparent once everybody gets their hands on it. But I don't want to talk about bugs or anything like that. What I want to do is talk to you about my experience in playing Update 3.0 so far and what I think about the game overall with all the changes that they made. Now, I'm not going to show you any sorcery in this video. This is honestly something to just show you the kind of changes that have been made to the quality of life of the game. First of all, I will tell you I am using an agility build, so I have absolutely zero points in strength in this build, and I will have a highlight video for that build coming on my channel, as well as the armor that I'm wearing in this video, so definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Now, one of the things you've probably already noticed is the health bar for my thrall. It is green, and that is not a mod. That is part of the base game now. So your thralls are going to have green health bars, and that makes it much easier to differentiate health bars if they're in a crowd or you're farther away. Knowing how much health your follower has or being able to find them in a crowd is so much easier now. I also want to point out the movement capabilities of your character. Running sideways now happens so much better. So instead of always having to roll out of the way of damage like I'm doing now, you can actually sidestep an absolute ton of damage if you time it right. So if you time enemy attacks or you're not getting overwhelmed, you can just step to the side, step out of the way of damage, and then you are are able to attack from the side attack from the back while that enemy is still finishing their swing or their combo now I know on the surface this doesn't sound like much but I've been given the unique opportunity to play this version alongside the version you guys have been playing for a long time and I can tell you it makes a world of difference when it comes to combat and I think this is really going to shake up combat for PvP as much as it is shaking up combat for PvE. Now I do want to note that my character is a bit more nimble because I'm an agility build and one of the perks allows me to roll and run and move faster and also gain stamina quicker than I would if I didn't have that perk. But it is just a slight bit. So. As you are playing through, you are going to notice that you are much more nimble than you were prior to this update, but you get just a hair more movement advantage with an agility build than you do with a strength build. Now I want to go all the way back to starting as a fresh character because I did do that for my testing. I started as a fresh character and I played through the game as I would have if I was on an official server. So no help from an admin panel, no help from any outside source. I played through the game as you would if you started a new character. And what I noticed is everything is much more front loaded. So as you are leveling your character, as you are getting into those 20 levels and those 30 levels and even those 40 levels, you're going to notice that you are much stronger than you had been in the past. That's because Funcom loaded a lot of the really great damage and the really great perks into the front half of your attributes 
and it slows down as you progress to, I'd say from somewhere around level 45 to 60, the amount of damage you are gaining as a character kind of slows down. But that also opens up really good weapons. So as you reach those levels where you in the past may not have made things like the ancient weapons or the hardened steel weapons, you may want to do that because that's actually what's going to give you the boost after update 3.0. Another thing that you might notice is the growth of the health bar. So as you get closer to a target that is showing you its health bar, the health bar actually gets bigger. And as you go away from that target, it gets smaller. So it's not taking up your entire screen, just seeing that health bar far off in the distance. Now, I'm sure you guys have questions about the thralls. I'm sure you have questions about the feel of the player, whether the player really feels like they are the hero of the story or not. So let's start with the player and then we'll talk about the thralls. I do definitely feel more like I'm the hero in Conan Exiles now than I did previously. And the reason why really hangs on the fact that your character is so much better at moving around. You no longer have to waste your entire stamina bar just trying to get away from a few attacks. So this allows you to reduce the amount of damage you're taking and it allows you to continue to deal damage because your stamina isn't consistently running out from rolling out of the way of that damage. Now, Thralls are still a thing, and they always will be a thing in Conan Exiles. They are not going away. However, you do have to manage them a little bit better after Update 3.0. They are not just going to face tank everything in the game. I've actually lost more Thrall since Update 3.0 than I think I ever have in the game before. So you will want to be more careful with your followers. You're not going to want to just throw them at something and leave them to be. Throwing your follower at something to just face tank a fight and do it all on their own is not going to be as easy as it was before. They do not have as much health. They do not do as much damage. And that means that you are going to need to be engaged in that fight. Now, obviously, there is the opportunity for you to have two followers, and I'll get into that in a future video. But if you still want to run around with just a single follower, it's totally possible as long as you are engaged in the fight. Additionally, one of my favorite perks is in authority, and this allows me to send health to my follower as I'm engaged in the fight. So if you watch very closely and pay close attention to my follower's health while I'm fighting, she's actually gaining health. And so as she's taking damage, I'm able to send her hit points. And in a lot of cases, a lot of fights, that means that I can keep her fully healed throughout the entire fight while I'm doing damage. So it means that my part of the fight is even more important than it was before. And in some fights, it's absolutely imperative that you are involved. Now, I kind of want to roll everything together here with the arena champion fight so you can see how small the health bar is. As her health bar starts to get closer, you're going to see that health bar grow. So it's not always taking up so much of the screen. Additionally, I know exactly where my thrall is because of the green health bar. I'm then going to engage in the fight. I will do some sidestep motions in this fight, so watch very carefully for those. But I am going to stand here and pretty much wreck the arena champion before she knows what's happening. Now you can see my thrall took a decent amount of damage. And actually I'm playing in a mode for PvP, so some of that damage is actually coming from me. But as I'm engaged in this fight, you can see, even though my Thrall has taken a decent bit of damage, I poisoned her myself, I'm still able to send her hit points while I'm dealing damage to the Arena Champion. And there you go, the Arena Champion is dead, and I've done all those things that I've talked about in this video. I haven't lost all my stamina. I was able to sidestep. I was able to engage in the fight and make a real difference, keep my Thrall alive in one of the most difficult PvE fights, 
all while causing damage to her myself. So moral of the story here is that if you've enjoyed the combat in Conan Exiles at any point in time, you're going to enjoy it even more. I want to take a quick second for those of you that know me, I want to point this out real quick. I am playing on a mouse and keyboard. Update 3.0 was what changed my mind between playing on a controller and playing on a mouse and keyboard. And I can tell you what it is phenomenal on mouse and keyboard and i'm really enjoying playing this game that way and honestly i couldn't do it at all prior to update 3.0 and i want to say this a real quick note on feeling like i'm the hero I don't think we really need to see a whole lot of character tweaks at this point in time. I really feel like the combat from the player's side is really good. What I feel like is lacking at this point in time is going to be the combat from the NPC side. I feel like some of the attacks are just too slow. They come too slow. I feel like some of the attacks just come way too fast. I feel like the timing and balance of these things are really what is going to make the difference between being immersed in a fight and being just totally destroyed in a fight and being able to feel like the hero or not the hero. But that really is a point for future improvement for Funcom. If they do listen to what I have to say, that would be where I think their attention should be focused going forward. Now, obviously, update 3.0 is not bug free. You can see I'm doing this fight solo and that is not on purpose. My follower just simply did not follow me into this room when I was filming this and I had to do this fight solo. She shows up after I defeat this enemy and it's like she was there the whole time. She's just like, hey, hi, I'm here. What's up? What do I kill? Oh, well, I already killed it. So I don't know why you're here now. You should have been here a little while ago. So that kind of stuff does happen in any update. So the point of me bringing that up in this instance is just to make sure you're reporting anything that you come across that seems odd to Funcom, whether you are finding it during the test live period or if you're finding it once the update goes live. Now the best place to report bugs to Funcom is gonna be over on the forums and there's a link to the forums in the description of this video. I would also encourage anyone that owns Conan Exiles on PC to download the test live version. It is completely free. However, it is also going to take up space on your computer. So if you want to jump in and start testing in test live, see update 3.0 before it goes to the live build, you can definitely download the test live version of the game and jump in and play on one of the servers or in your solo game and check 3.0 out for yourself. Now, I already have a ton of videos coming your way, but I want to know in the comment section below, what do you want to see first for Conan Exiles Age of Sorcery? I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.